Um, I'm Billy McGranigan, and I am the founder of Dad's House. Dad's House is a single dad's charity that helps dads with the practicalities of raising children on their own. And I set Dad's House up in 2008. Um, some of the things we've got, football, dad's yoga, guitar lessons for dads and kids because we're not a babysitting service, um, cooking classes for dads and kids, and drug and alcohol testing. Food banks, we've helped over 48,000 families in two years. Um, yeah, it's incredible. Um, and, <laughs> and I'll get around, and um, family law clinics led by Simon Bruce, very Exelby, and Simon Miller, um, and the best family law students you've ever come across in your life. Um, so, the food banks are set up seven years ago for single dads on a Friday night in High Street Kensington. And not one dad turned up. <laughs> a couple of mums. Um, I thought, okay. And that was my introduction to help of mums as well because I didn't realise mums needed help too. So, <laughs> carried that on to now. So we've got a food bank in... West Brompton that combines family law, the football, body service, drugs and alcohol testing, and blood testing. And I don't know if anyone's heard of Cansford Laboratories. Yeah, well, we do the collections for Cansford. And what I feel, what I've seen, is too many organisations in London have been following money, following mon funding streams. That's why there's no help for dads out there. And the, 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 the lack of support for dads is, is, is really astonishing. So the mental health aspect is, is so important. The prevention of dads feeling lonely, feeling isolated, feeling suicidal. And that's where our projects come in where dads meet other dads, they talk to other dads, they feel part of something. And it's not all about doom and gloom. And it's not all about child custody. You know, some dads have been through that. And we've got a buddy service where they'll help another dad. You know, so as much as there's such a serious side of it, it's so important that men get together to help another man who's been there. Men talk a good game, you know, and if you think about the football clubs in the UK, the premiership, the billions of pounds that they're turning over, they don't help dad's charities, single dad's charities. It's changing, it's getting better, and the family courts are getting better. The lawyers are empathetic. I do, I, I really believe that. Um, and it's communication. It's finding the right people, getting that right team, and getting their team to help them. And it's about you, and, and you, and, and you. You know, it's, it's about men getting together in a way that they understand. And they understand the, the goodness of that other man. The softness of that other man. Yeah, we can have a fight and we can get angry, but we cry, you know. And, and we, suicidal it is the emotions of not seeing your kids, you know, losing your, your, your love of your life. Yeah, you might have had arguments and she says and he says, but how can you get over that? With help, you know, and... We have to help each other, you know, and, and Families Need Fathers and, and, and Vincent is a brilliant organisation. And now with the, the new chair, you know, really a, a, new, a new future. And I, I really believe that, you know, um, but we can do it together. You know, you're, you're, not, you're not alone. <laughs> right, yeah, that, that, that's all it is, you know, check Dad's house out and... Um, 
if you need anything, get in touch, you know. So, yeah, if anybody wants to ask me anything, feel free. Now's the time. No? Okay. Yeah, yeah. What inspired you to do I'm a single dad. I raised my son on my own. Couldn't cook, um, lost my job, ended up homeless, you know. So, like every other dad who's been through a system where there's, there's a complete lack of support, you know. So that, that's where everything that... I, I, I keep looking over here because normally I've got a little slide here <laughs> and it's not mine. So it's everything that I wasn't good at, you know, um, when I was younger, you know. So... It's important where cooking and, and cleaning and just getting a job back on your feet, keeping off the drink, you know, or cutting down on drink and, and just getting on with everyday life and, and try and not isolate yourself.